Now that we've printed out our transparency, we're ready to make a resist mask so we can do our sandblast. Now I've got the resist electrolytes kit here. It's an exposure unit and it has a minute timer. I have it on a power switch because we only want 20 seconds and that will help control it. I'm going to take off the um, blanket here, off of the light unit, and then I'm going to get a piece of film out. This is the uh, SR3000, which is the 3 millimeter film, and it's uh, the one that you're going to want to use when you're doing half tones. They also have a 4 and 5 millimeter, and that's fine if you're carving deeper, but we are just doing light sandblasting. So we've got the film, and it is shiny on that side, dull face up. So you want your dull side face to face with your transparency. So I'm turning that flat down. I'm going to take my cylinder, and there's a little catch here. Give it a good stretch and clamp it onto the tube. Now it's safe here in the dark. It is not exposing. When we have it out in the light, it is exposing. So we want to work fairly quickly to get it into this position. Now we're ready to expose. So we're going to hit the timer and turn it on. Now we're going to make this a 20 minute exposure, which is about right for most of the half tones. And we will watch the clock until it goes off. It helps me to have a timer because I forget. Okay, there's the timer. See, the light went off, even though you still hear it running. Okay, now we're going to take the um, protector blanket off. That holds it really nice and tight to the... Um, by the way, I had a little bit of dampness on my transparency, and I'm going to hide it under here because I do not want to get it wet. I'm going to put the film on the board here, put my unit back in place, and then I'm going to bring down this little splash board. Uh, Resist provides this uh, magnetic washout board, but it tends to get all over, so um, I like to have a little extra splash. Okay, the high pressure hose. You are going to take this at about one inch away. You can hear it's very light there. You want this loud hissing sound. That is the correct distance. And you're going to go in a nice, even, kind of lawnmower fashion across your film down here to the tight pocket watches and the rest of the element. Now, I am going to put more energy like I've got that covered up a little. Okay, I'm going to put more energy into the half tones because they're a little more delicate. I want to get those just perfect before I go down and get the text and the watches. Okay, you can really see them coming up, which is great. Okay, go down and get this. Don't want to forget Freddy. Now, I think the half tones look pretty good. I could use just a little more washout here at the top. Yeah, there we go. And maybe just a little more on Freddy. Now we're going to go down and we're going to get the images uh, and the text. Sometimes I expose my half tones um, at a different time because it's a little easier than trying to do a full piece. But as you can see, these are going to come up just fine. You don't want to overwash your half tone. All right, we got a beautiful wash out there. Um, if you feel like there's a couple little spots that you might need just a little more, you can always just squirt very lightly and get that last little bit of darkness out. So that's it. Now we are going to uh, take the magnet off. 
and take our film and bring it over here. I'm going to move my slot slash board so you can see. And although it's sticking really well, I'm going to put a little magnet on the corners. And in about a half an hour, that will be dry enough to use. If you want to speed it up a little bit, you can put a hair dryer on warm, just not too close. All right.